strange news we bring, tidings for our king, reports of rising waters from the north. Their tide shall overthrow the lands in which they flow, but by the hand of God he is sent forth. Assyria, it is the rod of the anger and fury of Almighty God. Assyria, it is the staff of God's strong indignation and wrath. All nations that stand in its path, they are driven away like the chaff. To Aoth they are come, and passed into Megron. At Michmash their munitions have amassed. This mighty entourage, and gave them it has lodged. For they have now traversed the mountain pass. So Rama's filled with dread, Saul's Gibeah has fled. And Gavam's daughter cries out from the fray. War Anathoth is hurt, so Laish is deterred. And Gavam and Mamina fly away. And ready to attack our city, love shall stay. Assyria, it is the rod of the anger and fury of Almighty God. Assyria. Of God's strong indignation and wrath, all nations that stand in its path, they are driven away like the chaff. There is one place left to take, and soon his fist will shake against our city and its holy hill. Until to what our place, this king will turn his face to see his greed for Zion soon fulfilled. He cannot comprehend the violence he intends, for he is just God's fool. But deep within his heart, he yearns and thirsts for war to, to fight, fight and cut off nations, not a few. Assyria, it is the rod of the anger and fury of Almighty God. Assyria, it is the staff of God's strong indignation and wrath. All nations that stand in its path, they are driven away like the is a serious threat and our host cannot face it alone without any aid our foe will invade and our city will be overthrown a sure alliance is what we need a sure alliance for this I plead so from this threat our city can be freed. Now only one nation can stop an invasion to keep our great country alive. We know they can save, though we once were their slaves. In the shadow of Egypt we thrive. Isaiah the prophet, with a voice like a trumpet, warned us against this alliance. We would carve out our tomb, for this in God's view was an act of great defiance. How could we forget the three years that he went through our city completely unclothed? And the shoes on his feet as he roamed through the streets, on our minds this truth was imposed. How Egypt would soon be exposed. Despite the temptations, there's no help in nations. Assyria so soon would lay bare. As our maps are reshaped, we can see no escape. If we heed this, then we would beware. Yes, a sure alliance is what we need. Yes, a sure alliance. Our God can be saved. 
succeed But why should we fear When the temple is here God's presence is right in our midst God's house will endure Thus it keeps us secure Do we think we will cease to exist? So why would we need Egypt to
To fend off an invasion So a city ever stands Here is his taxation These are his demands Give the vessels made of silver That the sanctuary stores The gold upon each pillar And the gold upon the door For this is what I added To the beauty of that place If it keeps our city planted These goods can be replaced And many other treasures I send unto this king Now we pray this humble gesture Will be met with high esteem To fend off an invasion So our city ever stands We will yield to his taxation We will pay what he demands Prophets never write their words Their preaching will suffice But Father writes down everything What's more, he writes it twice He writes it on the tablet He writes it here again You write it here and write it there Father, do explain Prophet has a mission when he receives a vision to state it in the ears of everyone. When he obtains a message, then he proclaims the presage, and when it happens, then his job is done. He might write it on a table so everyone is able to understand what God will bring to pass. But then what God has willed hereafter is fulfilled, and everything he wrote is in the past. But the prophecy God gives to me is not confined to history. Yes, much of this will happen once again. For there will be duality in present day reality and so I must preserve it I must preserve it with the pen this current information holds latter revelation so I write it on a table and in a book these historical depictions contain their own predictions so in both the past and future we can look what will be the outcome 
what will soon result. Just look into the former things, its record now consult. It shows us what will happen, reveals the latter end. It tells tomorrow's stories, the future it portends. For the prophecy God gives to me is not confined to history. Yes, much of this will happen once again. For there will be duality in present day reality. And so I must preserve it. I must preserve it with the pen. Now as you see this history, remember that it's prophecy, a preview and a pattern it portrays. Not kept for mere posterity, it gives the future clarity, what's destined to befall the latter days. Now speaking of the latter days, there are certain things I write that will only happen later. They have no present equal. I don't write them on the table, but only in this book. These words will be conveyed, denoted by the phrase, in that day. I must go. See thy teach 
Generous support. Sennacherib, our mighty king. Sennacherib, your praise we sing. O king of us for quarters, we are your great supporters. Sennacherib, your tributes we bring. He graciously gives aid unto his
makes the earth to tremble and every kingdom shakes. He makes the world a wilderness. Each nation's will he breaks. No other king is like him. He is utterly unique. Give your strength unto him, or he will make you weak. Give him your attention, for he prepares to speak. Undefeated, I'm undefeated. See what my mighty hand has done. And how my record stands as undefeated. I'm undefeated. So none can stand against my iron will. I alone possess my shrewdness and my skill. Every rank we have is grander, every god like a commander, for our training and our tactics are advanced. With such uncommon soldiers, there's no army that is bolder, for the power of our weapons is enhanced. Every one of our formations, from the center to each wing, could take a city by itself and give the fatal sting. All the others are defenseless because every soldier senses that regarding all my princes, everyone is like a king. We're undefeated, we're undefeated. All other gods are smashed or charged. All other kings and nobles are defeated. They are defeated. Behold, I gather eggs from every nest. And see, there's not a one who dares protest. We seek Jerusalem. This is our prey. We seek Jerusalem. It stands in our way. My leisure, I partake of every treasure that the kingdoms I've defeated have in store. And I fill our nation's coffers with the goods they have to offer. But regardless of their tribute, I want more. We want more. Jerusalem eventually will fall into our grip. This indomitable conqueror will take what's rightly his. And we will not stop trying until on the mountain. Our great nation's flag is flying and the Hezekiah is defeated. 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 No tribute that he offers us will ever see my global loss. Defeated. Defeated. defeated.
Infinite wisdom abounds from the throne for keeping Mount Zion secure. Though our foes may be nigh, their wells will be dry, but our waters will always be sure. Come to the waters God has in store. Come to the waters and thirst no more. Come to the waters that he will give. Come to the waters, freely partake and live. Crossing the deserts our ancestors faced, they never were taken by drought. Our Lord led his flock to a plentiful rock, and from it the waters gushed out. God has assured us his guidance is near. Our day of salvation comes soon. When the way of his mountain is marked by his fountains, the path the eternal has hewn. Souls that are thirsty and bones that are dry will be watered and washed like a garden. God guides and delivers with unending rivers the testament of his great pardon god will respond when the arid cry out he will neither forsake nor be cruel he gives streams in the hills each valley he fills and turns into a pool. The lame shall leap, leap like the dove. The tongue of the dumb will shout in the desert streams flow till it blooms like the rose when the glory of God is poured out. Just as our God poured out drink for the parched and floods which the driest lands drank, so his spirit descends on the children of men. They will spring up as trees on the bank. Come to the waters God has in And thirst no more. Come to the waters that he will give. Come to the waters, freely partake and live. Come to the waters, free.
I, the Rapshika, the general of Sennacherib, the venerable, have come here with a message for your king. Our battle cry has sounded. We have you all surrounded. To what alliance can your city cling? Your army offers no defense. No treaty gives you confidence. Our forces are exceedingly outmanned. And if you lean on Egypt's staff, a piece of wood that snapped in half, its jagged edge will pierce right through your hand. But if you say you trust your God, what kind of shield is that facade? Your king can find your lord to just one altar. You have no coalition to counter our ambition. Your God is on our side to make you falter. In your own tongue, please converse, for our learning is diverse. But speak not in the language of the Jews. They need not overhear what's, what's meant for kingly ears. Your pitiful request, ha, I refuse. This is our king's intent. For this cause have I been sent to speak to all your people in their tongue. For they'll face intoxication on their own elimination. And that king will make them feast on their own dung. Jerusalem, your fate should make your people quiver from Sennacherib the Great. There's no God who can deliver the faith your monarch claims. Do not let this persuade you. Your conviction brings you shame. It is already betrayed you. But make peace with me and open these gates. Then you shall see what goodness awaits. Your own fig tree, your own vine, pure water from your well, full of grain and wine. With plenty you will dwell. Hamath had its gods, Offed had its idols, that could not face these odds. They're just rocks with sacred titles. Sephavarim's groves, Samaria's divinities, could not defend their thrones, nor fend off our hostilities. Their deities could not defend their land. So how can yours protect you from my hand? To the king.
the same year that our King Uzziah died, I saw the eternal enthroned on high, a breathtaking vision supremely sublime and splendid. With glorious garments this being was clothed, from heaven the hem of his skirt overflowed, and into the temple these priestly robes descended. Now standing above this magnificent chair, the bright shining seraphim ministered there, a fiery sight under which was this mercy seat framed. Of their six wings, over their faces were two, a pair covered their feet, and with two wings they flew, and one to another these luminous angels exclaimed, Holy, 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 eternal, all of us, all the earth is full of your glory, your glory. that praise the eternal of hosts shook the doors and shook their posts and filled all the house with spectacular sweet-smelling smoke. I replied, woe is me, for I am undone. I have unclean lips and an impure tongue, and I see the Lord, so his graciousness I must invoke. Oh, Set on my mouth a coal from the altar that glowed. A new zeal within me had suddenly surged, for he said that all my transgressions were purged, my sins once as crimson were now made as white as the snow. Then I heard the eternal inquire from his throne, Who shall I send and for us who shall go? And I, Isaiah, uttered this eager plea. Here am I, send me. Here am I, here am I. From this calling I replied, I will not draw back, I will volunteer, I will go where I'm required. Here am I, here am I. God gave me the tongue and the ear of the learned that I might proclaim an encouraging word. A word fitly spoken to those who are weary and faint. Here am I to hear your complaint. Here am I, here am I, from no mission will I hide. I will sign my name, I will walk by faith, I will step with valiant strife. Here am I, here am I, here am I, here am I. 
Turkey's news we bring Tidings from our king Requesting that you pray on our behalf Assyria approached The Lord has been reproached Against the living God How they have laughed So will our God be moved And will he now reprove The blasphemy their general declares The lion says we lack To fend off an attack We come to you now Asking for your prayer not afraid and be not dismayed by the words the Assyrian spoke. He blasphemed God's name, but God brings him to shame. God will break off our enemy's yoke. Like the slaughter of Midian at the order of Gideon, God will stir up a scourge for our foe. And as Egypt was drowned when the waters came down, God will break off our enemy's yoke. Fear not a man who fades like the grass, whose breath is contained in his nose. Your oppressor's great fury is no cause for worry. God will break off our enemies' yoke. Assure alliance we now possess. Your sure alliance I now profess. It is your Messiah. Jerusalem, declare with a voice strong but smooth, as only a mother can soothe. Their sins are forgiven, their warfare has come to an end. Comfort Jerusalem. Strengthen, strengthen my people, says your God. Strengthen the feeble knees. I gather my flock with my arm. As only a shepherd can guard, to water I lead them and make them to lie down at ease. Strengthen the feeble knees. Be strong, fear not. Behold, he is coming soon. Be strong, fear not. Behold, your God. Behold your God, the mighty one. Behold your God, behold, he comes. The path is forged, the way is paved. Behold your God, behold he comes to save. He holds oceans in his hand, measures heavens with a span. He calculates the dust of the earth. He balances and weighs hills and mountains in his scales. 
He knows their every measure, height, and girth. For who can be his guide? From whom is God advised? And who can be his cunning counselor? For who has formed his thoughts? From whom has God been taught? And who directs the spirit of the Lord? Your creator has no equal or limit. His strength has no constraint. He is never tired nor weary. He faint. As locusts we appear to the God whom we revere, he sits above the circle of the world, where the cosmos he extends like a curtain without ends, and like a tent the heavens are unfurled. Now lift your eyes on high, behold the starry skies, how God created everything in sight. Their number he can claim, he calls them all by name. He holds them in the greatness of his might. So the nations are a drop of a bucket and dust upon the scales. They are valued less than nothing. They're worth of no avail. Behold your God. The mighty one, behold your God, behold he comes. The path is forged, the way is paved, behold your God, behold he comes to save us. This city which my hosts have now enclosed. Jerusalem is trapped, and Zion's strength is sapped. Your dynasty and throne shall be deposed. All nations I laid waste, their gods I have disgraced. This fate your God, and you will not avoid. The power of all that is given to my hands. Their rulers have I utterly destroyed. Go spread it before your Lord. Like Telazar or Gozan, or Rezef, Eden, Haran, these realms whose gods could not withstand my sword. The kings of Hamath and Hena, Sephavim, Arphad, Eva, all perished, as will you and your Lord. I laid waste, their gods I have disgraced. This fate your God and you will not avoid. The power of all lands is given to my hands. Their rulers have I utterly destroyed. Go spread it before your Lord. Lord God of Israel, mid cherubim you dwell. Where mighty hosts are singing your great words. There you have set your throne, and you, O oh God alone, created all in heaven and in earth. Eternal, bend your 
ear, that you, O oh Lord, may hear the blasphemy the enemy proclaims. And open now your eyes, behold how he defies the living God he brazenly defames. I spread it before you, Lord, every single word and every single burden, how I laid them bare. I spread it before you, Lord, every single want, every single taunt, I show you every care. Oh, hear my urgent prayer. I spread it before you, Lord. I spread it before you, Lord. If you show the wicked favor, he never will be just. He will not behold your glory if he lays us in the dust. Let him behold you, God, and rightly be ashamed. Smite him with your zeal, consume him with your flame. We have waited for you, Lord, for justice we inquire. To see your fame remembered, this is our soul's desire. Other lords have ruled us, other masters than our God. But only you we mention, and only you we love. We spread it before you, Lord. Every single phrase, every single praise, your works beyond compare, your honor we declare. We spread it before you, Lord. All nations, they laid waste. All nations, I laid waste. They're God, they have to They're gods, I have to see. lifeless idols made of stones and trees. Mere stones and trees. Now save us from his hand. The power of all For the only God who can. Give it to my so all nations worship you upon the knees. I spread it before you. Go Lord. spread it before you. Every single word and every single burden. How I laid the hand. I Lord. spread it before you. We spread it before you. Every single word.
the sickness now upon you, according to the Lord. For the future you've neglected, now death is your reward. Your house is not in order, so find yourself a wife. You must produce an heir before God ends your life. For this rule he has established, his government and peace. This dynasty of David forever shall increase until Messiah's coming, the mighty Prince of Peace, the everlasting Father whose throne shall never cease. Remember, O oh Eternal, remember now, I pray, how I have walked before you and never turned away. Remember how we've prospered, remember now my part, the service I accomplished, I did with all my heart. The first year of my reign, I repaired the temple doors. I gathered every Levite to cleanse your holy courts. We sacrificed with music as David had ordained. I restored his priestly orders, your joy we then regained. I shattered every idol, I cut down every grove. I leveled every high place that you and I both loathe. Then healing came upon us, which only you can give. For healing is forgiveness. By this, O oh Lord, we live. Remember, O oh Eternal, remember now, I pray, how I have walked before you and never turned away. Remember how we prospered. Remember now my part, the service I accomplished. I did with all my heart. Forgive me and hear Before I left your court, my exit was cut short. For answers came from heaven, which I heard. The Lord reversed my path, for he reversed his wrath. The God of your father, David, spoke this word. I have heard. Fifteen years. For healing is forgiveness. The Lord has borne our grief. Because of his affliction, he offers us relief. His wounds for our transgressions, our sins can be repealed. His stripes for our offenses, and by them we are healed. In three days you go to God's holy place with your life restored. You will celebrate His grace. 
For healing is forgiveness. The Lord has borne our grief. Because of his affliction, he offers us relief. His wounds for our transgressions, our sins can be repealed. His stripes for our offenses, and by them we are healed. And as regards Jerusalem, the fervent prayers you did extend, this is what our God did state. For David's and my sake, this holy city I will defend. I will defend this city, I will defend. In my enduring pity, I will descend. Thus says the Lord, your God and friend. I will defend this city, my city, I will defend. In this place, on this ground, not one soldier shall be found, not one bulwark will he breach. Not one footprint, not one shield, not one arrow will he wield, not one rampart will he reach. I send burning to his camp, for your city is a lamp, and your light shall be as fires. And the glory of my name shall confront him like a flame, so he burns like thorns and briars. I will defend this city, I will defend. In my enduring pity, I will descend. Thus says the Lord, your God and friend. I will defend this city, my city, I will defend. By the way that he came, he will go back home in shame. There I hasten his demise. For my skirt I will impart, for the stoutness of his heart, I will smite his haughty eyes. I will drive him where he goes, for my hook is in his nose, and my bridle in his lips. Yes, regardless of his pride, he is the horse on which I ride, and his power I eclipse. I will defend this city, I will defend. In my enduring pity, I will descend. Thus says the Lord, your God and friend. I will defend this city, my city. I will defend. Time's passage it declares. The shadow could go forward or backward ten degrees, whichever he selected would follow God's decree. The sun's direction reversed the course of day. This wonder God displayed for he inhabits eternity and everlasting place. He is enthroned amid infinity.
turn the shadow backward according to his will for he has eternity in an everlasting place he is enthroned amid infinity I said amid my prime, in the middle of my days, I go before my time to the gates of the grave. My life has been deprived the remainder of my years. How could I be revived when death so quickly nears? In the land of the living, I shall not see the Lord. Denied of all perceiving, I behold my God no more. Nor can my eyes regard the others who now rest. The men whose tombs I join, all this my prayers express. The grave cannot praise you, and death cannot extol you. Those who descend to the tomb cannot hope for your truth. But the living, the living shall praise you and proclaim the mercy you have shown. As a father would teach his children, I will make your faithfulness known. 
My house would be uprooted as a shepherd's tent removed. My life was with the weaver who would cut me from the loom. From day to night you end me. I pondered this till dawn when you entered as a lion to shatter every bone. I'm trapped as cranes and swallows. I moaned as the dove. My eyes were soon exhausted for how long they looked above. Oh, Lord, in my oppression, you gave a wondrous sign. And healing my transgression, you pledged your life for mine. The grave cannot praise you, and death cannot extol you. Those who descend to the tomb cannot hope for your truth. But the living, the living shall praise you and proclaim the mercy you have shown. his children I will make your faithfulness known by this old Lord men live you made my spirit whole recovery you give and life unto my soul for my good, you gave me bitterness and rescued me from death. You granted me forgiveness and paid my fatal debt. Therefore, we will sing on instruments.
history shows how God did save. To his blazing wrath, this land would feel exposure. So through encampments of the foe, the chief of all their strength he smote. When the angel of death, when the angel of death passed over, but all of Israel obeyed the voice of God, they safely stayed within each guarded house as their enclosure. The shed blood of a spotless lamb distinguish them from even camps and the angel of death and the angel of death passed over our god will hover like the birds whose wings will cover those they serve he will
Hezekiah I extorted so his goods would be imported and he thought he was submitting to my yoke but my demands were not adjusted since for more my heart had lusted so then his beloved city I would choke Yes, he paid me all this tribute, so my greed would be assuaged. But I trapped his city anyway, like birds within a cage. Yet with force our camp was raided, just before my troops invaded. Just like Lucifer degraded, from the war he tried to wage. Defeated, he was defeated. Like lightning down he went, to dust was his descent. Defeated, he was defeated. Though many high ambitions he had sworn, he now is chided, ridiculed, and scorned. How the virgin Zion's daughter must be laughing at my slaughter, and Jerusalem now shakes her head at me. Who truly have I taunted? Who truly has responded? Could it be this nation's God I cannot see? By the multitude of chariots my strength was set upon. The heights of every mountain, even unto Lebanon. I have cut down every cedar, I have conquered every border, I have dried up every river, and yet all my strength is gone. Defeated, I am defeated. Was I the one who ruled, or just some fleshly tool? Defeated, I am defeated. Was I the Shah of genius in command? Or just a sharpened axe within his hand? Defeated, I am defeated. Was I the demigod? Or just a mortal wrong? Defeated, I am Defeated was I the mighty power in command, or just a simple staff within his hand? <laughs>
city once called desolate is now his wedded wife. He calls his people Hephzibah, your lord and king's delight. As a bridegroom filled with joy for the maiden he did choose. So you build a shall rejoice for he has met. Our city shall be sought. They come to see our brightness. They come to be taught. We seek Jerusalem. Many will stay. We seek Jerusalem. Show us the way. For God's instruction. Show them that their trek is soon complete. And in their throngs, their joyous songs will speed the place for which they long till melody and gladness fill our streets. We seek Jerusalem, many will say. We seek Jerusalem. is what we seek. Jerusalem, we seek your perfect path to lead. When our immortality is granted, from this place the heaven shall be
Behold your loving God, he holds a shepherd's rod. And comes to govern with a mighty hand. The arm of God the Lord comes with the rich reward. New labor, labor and work, work will he command. command. Our precious he destroys, he gives everlasting joys. And from our hearts he makes all sadness flee. He wipes away all tears, all our sorrow disappears. And death is swallowed 